To play the game, you must know the rules. To win, you must know protocol. My name is Cheryl Walker Robertson. I'm the Chief Knowledge Officer for Protocol International. Welcome and thank you. Today we're going to talk about the power of the handshake. Your buddy Ron. You went to college with him and he pledged you. Kappa Alpha Psi. And you talked about business, you studied together, but mostly you party together. Ron liked the party, and so did you. Fast forward 25 years later, you're about to pitch your company in front of the CEO, the decision maker, about a very big deal that could be a game changer for your company and your life. You're all dressed, you're ready with your pitch, you walk into the room, and next to the CEO, ready to hear your pitch, is guess who, Ron. What are you going to do? What is he going to do? Is he going to embrace you and give you the old Kappa Alpha Psi handshake? <laughs> what will you do? You know, the history of the handshake is so interesting. It really began in medieval times when everyone carried a weapon. So when you removed your hand away from your weapon to extend it, it was a demonstration that the person was safe with you and you were safe with that person. No one was going to kill each other. In addition, the shaking part of the handshake was meant to shake away any weapons that may also have been under your sleeve. The connotation of the handshake is the same today as it was in medieval times. It means that I'm safe with you and you're safe with me. There are all types of handshakes. There's the fishy handshake, which really is at the end of the handshake, almost as if they don't want to touch you. There is the painful handshake. We know what that feels like. There's also the preacher's handshake, which means the double fisted. They're grabbing your hand with both hands. And then there's a the Donald Trump handshake, which means he's pulling and pushing, pulling and pushing, manipulating you the whole time. And of course, there's a the dap handshake. You want to do what you can to manage the situation and to manage Ron. So as you approach Ron, as excited as he is to see you, he's standing, he's approaching you, you're approaching him as well. So you stretch your arms out like this to let him know that this is the way that we will greet one another in this situation. A perfect handshake does begin with an arm outstretched. The first person who stretches their arm out for a perfect handshake is the power move for them. It helps everyone understand what the intent is. And so you stretch your arm out. It's a web to web interaction. So it's here. A great handshake includes a great smile and great eye contact. This way you manage Ron and you don't have the mistake of the ultimate Kappa Alpha Psi handshake in the wrong company. And that's your protocol tip for today. My name is Cheryl Walker Robertson. I am your personal protocol and etiquette consultant. Please reach out to us by visiting our website, www.4protocol.net. We appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.